Hello there, welcome to another QML tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to f continue down the road of dialogues and we're going to get into message dialogues. So, um, to get started, let's just uh, roll into it. So let's get rid of our content here. Um, so right here, let's get rid of all of that. And the first thing to do to make a message dialogue is to change the dialogue to a message dialogue. Now we have the same old buttons again, same old things, very inherent of each other. Now there is one thing that I forgot to mention in the last tutorial, and let's just do this right now. So let's make this back into a regular old dialogue, and let's down here, I forgot to mention modularity. Um, so there's three different types, uh, maybe more, but the three that I use mainly um, are one, which is qt.nonmodel, and if we run this, we will see that when we open up our dialogue right here, we still have access to our, we still have access right here, right, to our thing. We can click and so on and so forth, and, and it looks like, you know, these two are kind of working together, right? So that's that, right? So the next one would be the application model. We run this, and now when we open this up, we can see that the background gets grayed out, kind of telling the, the end user, you know, hey, really pay attention to this, right? So we'll accept and close the application. And then the last one is the windowed model, and I think that this one is by default. Uh, check the docs on that. I th it might be, or it might be non-model. Um, not sure on that one, really. But as you can see, back grayed out. Um, you know, just check the docs out. It'll tell you more about which each one of the, uh, the enumeration values actually stand for. Um, you can find those in the docs. And, close this all out. So anyways, back to our message dialogue. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like, right? Open it up and it looks very much similar, right? But we're missing some things here. Now let's um, let's talk about the, uh, the, we have a title, which we're used to. Now in the message dialogues, right, we also have text. So let's go ahead and put all these right here. So let's say the text is this. This is the main text or header. Right? So let's save and run that, and you'll see here now when we open up our dialog, this is the main text or header. Okay, let's get rid of all this and let's get rid of our yes button just have our cancel and our okay so then what we have after that is we uh, have information text so information text and this is what sits underneath this this is what sits under the header text as you will see run, open up, and there it is. Uh, this is, what's it, sites <laughs> underneath. Okay, close all that. Um, and then what we have is detailed text. Um, but before we get into that, let's cover the icons. So we have icons, and these are standard also too. So standard icon source. Um, I'm sorry, standard icon, and there are four of them, I believe, uh, one of them being question, maybe it's questions, um, I might be wrong on that, and as you can see, it finds the question one, and this is per operating system, it finds it, uh, what, 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 what kind of matches to your operating system. Uh, we have information. There's the info button. We have warning. And then I think it, the last one is error or critical. Um, it is critical. Anyways, let's stick with uh, information. And let us get back to the detailed text. So detail text. Um, this text is not shown unless the end 
user clicks the details button. Right? Save and run. Open it up. Show details is now here. We'll click on show details, and this text is not shown in them. We can hide the details. Uh, open them up, close them up, cancel, just closed. Open it back up, show details, and quit the application. So um, I think that's all that needed. Um, again, we could, we could make our own content item uh, from the message dialog. But message dialogs are pretty simple. Um, you know, we could have some if statements right here for the type it is, and we could refactor this into its own, uh, you know, element and, you know, pass in, hey, is this thing, you know, uh, you know what's, the, what's the thing? And then we have dialogs for our whole entire application. And we can connect this, uh, you know, with C++ and stuff, so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, easy to understand. Um, yeah, so message dialogs, um, show details. All right, well, I'm Joseph. Uh, be nice to everybody out there. I hope you uh, are enjoying these uh, video tutorials. There are much more to come soon. Um, good day.